Uribe back in and waiting. The crowd chanting. Carpenter out of his bed. And the 2-2 pitch. Uribe hits a high fly ball into deep left field. Way down the line and gone. And the Dodgers lead 4-3 on a two-run home run by Juan Uribe. And welcome back, everybody. Matt Vaskersian prepping you for tonight's AAA PCL action. But before we get to the ball game, let's have a look at the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Tug Dick is our subject. And it's an exciting day for him to be sure as he makes his AAA debut in this one. Yeah, this should be a fun yet nerve-filled day for him. You know, he wasn't a top draft pick, so he really had to prove himself at the lower levels to earn this promotion, so he should be proud of himself. Obviously, though, he ultimately wants to make it to the major leagues, but for now, I'm sure he's excited to show what he can do against some stiffer AAA competition. Who knows? If he continues to impress, maybe he'll be playing in the show before too long. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. from your exclusive home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show is on the air. It's time for game three of this four-game series between the Fresno Grizzlies and the Reno Aces. And before we get much further, here's a look at our starting lineups tonight. Let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Tug Dick will get his first shot at it here. Swing and a liner toward right center. Base hit. How about that, guys? He just tallied his first hit in AAA. A nice moment as we see the ball being tossed into the dugout there. Yep, that's very exciting for him, no doubt about it. But as a minor leaguer, your goal is to be a major leaguer. So while he'll take this knock, he's got to keep his eye on the ultimate prize, the show. Carlos Sanchez will get his first shot now, and you can see how he's done over the course of this five-game hitting streak. In there at the knees, strike one. Ball 
chop foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. And this is past him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. And they'll get it in quickly, so it's runners at first and second now with one man out. Yeah, the number two and three guys come through with back-to-back -back hits here with one out in the first. Now they've got something cooking, and they'll try to stake themselves to an early lead. Harold Good will get his first shot here, and you can see he's got that average up near the 330 mark to begin playing. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Haig is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. And this is one of those guys that throws what you call a heavy sinker. Normally he's going to get a lot of ground balls, but he leaves this one up in the zone. And I think he's lucky that this ball didn't get hit farther than it did. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here, but they've got nothing to... Pushing up near 350 to begin play. Bases are empty, one man out. On oh, a big swing there at a fastball. He really got into it high and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. I'll tell you what, anytime you get a first inning visit from your pitching coach, Something ain't working out. You know, here's what he's saying. Look, we need you to figure this out. We need some innings out of here. Let's go. Tuffy Gozerwich will come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. and lead at second. Here's the pitch. Here's a softly hit ball back to him on the mound. Oh, and he just throws the glove up there and snares it for out number three. Conrad Rankin will take his cuts now. It sharply past the mound and on into center field for a one-out single. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Tug Dick will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three, but it's not in time, and they'll just get the one. Well, you could have put the first base bag out in the outfield grass on this play. You're not going to double this guy up. He's too fast. Still, a pretty good job of at least getting that lead runner at second base. This ball's in the air now, out to right field. Campana is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Harold Good will try it again. He flew out his first time. Runners on the move for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. 
Well, when you're struggling as a ball club, this is when you got to force the issue a little bit. And that can mean being aggressive on the bases. And now he's into second here on the stolen base. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. And this guy's not hitting over 300 by accident. He's got a very good knowledge of the strike zone, and he knows when to lay off. Out of play. Here's another one-two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And you know, this is what the good ones do. They can wait you out up there. They sort of foul pitches off. They take pitches. They make the pitcher come to you. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Three and two now. And he does have a base open, so he doesn't have to give in on three and two. That misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Rafael Corona will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Runner holding tight at second. Now the pitch. In for a strike. It's one and one. And this is low, but it's corralled quickly, and both runners will have to hang on. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more Monday Night Tug Dick will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. And you can see the pitching coach heading for the mound, and this is nothing more than just trying to reassure your guy and give him a chance to compose himself. He's been great so far, so there's no reason to think that he can't work out of this. Carlos Sanchez will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame to this point, as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit it still hasn't shown up yet. Like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder, how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Yeah, curveball, then change up here on the first couple pitches. Now might be the time to see him run that fastball in on his hands. Maybe try and get this guy to pop something up. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Now the pressure will really start to mount out there. That strike zone's going to feel like it's the size of a soup can right now. 
line hard. But this will be a foul ball. This misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Runner going. Swinging a ground ball to first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. And the second run is across to make this a 3-2 ball game now. Harold Good will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Change up. Called strike one. Now a throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back in. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. It seems like we've seen a lot of guys late on the fastball tonight. And he's not throwing all that hard either, but when he throws it off the other pitches, that's where it makes it a little more difficult. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Rafael Corona. Let's see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Now here's the first pitch. He's running towards second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Runners at second and third with two gone. That's hard hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the second run will score as the lead will change hands now at 4-3. to three. Well, it's pretty evident that this is not going to be the outing that turns his fortunes around. Remember, he gave up five runs his last time out. This is already four in this one, so it may be back to the drawing board yet again. Tug Dick will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Slow curve ball like a balloon and he couldn't hold back. It's strike two. Ah, uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Uh, you won't see a guy fooled any more than he was there, as on three pitches, he becomes out number two. Well, I got to tell you guys, it's one thing to have a lot of raw talent, but once you get to this level, you got to have a little something between the ears, too. And I'll tell you, that's just poor pitch recognition right there. Tug Dick will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Fastball.
fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The aces on top, six to five. Lolly will dig in, took a cold third strike his last time. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. Throw in time at first for route number two. Two quick outs here to start the inning. It's looking more and more likely that we're going to need extra innings here to decide this one. Tony Campana will stand in now, hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Well, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggles. Now Slider swung on and lifted into shallow center field. And some trouble now in right field. And they're going to walk off here with a 7-6 victory. Starting pitchers, as you see their numbers right there. Tug Dick will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. Slice down the line at first. 
And this is going to get past him at first. That's a fair ball. But that is just picture perfect right there. You know as a hitter that you're going to want to make sure you hit it to the right side to get that runner to third base. But if you do it well enough, you get yourself a base hit to go along with it. Check it out. He, he lets this pitch get almost past him, but then he manages to still get good contact and send it in a right field for the base hit. Carlos Sanchez will get his first shot here, and you can see he's got that average up near the 330 mark to begin playing. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Here's a look over to first. And the runner back safely. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. On the ground is short. This could be two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. Yeah, and the bobble here to start the play took away any chance of getting two, but that's a pretty good recovery right there to at least get the out at second base. Tug Dick will dig in. He singled his first time around. Close to the bag. It's second there. Now the pitch. Now a ball lined towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And a relay to the plate. And the run will score from second here as this is now a 3-0 game. Do you think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see. And he was right on that one. Carlos Sanchez will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. Now here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. That pitch count, as you see, already standing at 41. And you don't need Eric or I to tell you about that. That's way too many this early. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. Now a throw over to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. Lays off two and two now. Yeah, an interesting setup now on two and two. Here's where you really need to pay attention to that guy at first. Runners on first with one down. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. On to first, and there were two down. Well, I think he may have taken the tougher of two approaches right there. I think he did have time to square his shoulders and try to flip it to first that way. Instead, he chooses the much tougher spin throw, but he still manages to put that throw right on the money. Harold Good will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already. So you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone. And there's ball one. Short lead from second, now the pitch. Hit hard toward the right side. 
And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. But now the pitching coach is going to come in and have a word with him. <laughs> and in the second inning, you know, once he makes sure he's okay physically, you know, he'll be saying, hey, look, uh, let's put all that's just happened behind us and focus on the task at hand. Tug Dick will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. 1 0. Swing and a hard hit ball to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. That's a nice backhanded play there at second. You'd like to be able to get in front of this ball if you can, but here he does a nice job of looking it into the glove, and then he makes the throw to first for the out. Miguel Rosario will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. And he swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And a long run, but he gets there, and that's good range in the outfield as there are two gone. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off, and he makes the play easily. Oscar Santana will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Noonan backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Boy, that's just another off-balance swing right there. Not only are these guys light on hits, they're not even making solid contact right now. Tug Dick will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Oh, now a ball headed for the alley in right center. And on the first pitch of the at-bat, it's going to find that alley for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. And if you're going to work away with a two-seam fastball, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. Here, as you can see, he starts it on the corner. So you know what's going to happen. It's going to leak right back out over the heart of the plate. And that's a mistaken location, pure and simple. Carlos Sanchez will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. Two and oh now. I think he's letting this situation get the better of him out there. But you have to have a short memory if you're a relief pitcher. You can't dwell on what just happened. 3-0 and oh now. Third double of the game for these guys, as you see the comparison there. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. And, oh, he thought he'd work the walk, but it's a cold strike, too, now. 
That's a borderline strike right there. And I think that he had one step out of the batter's box headed towards first already. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Payoff pitch one more time. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Well, that's okay. You would have liked him to chase on three and two, but you had your base open here, so now you can really focus on getting yourself a ground ball. Hey, we got one here. Harold Good will dig in now. One for two to this point. And a high strike there, 0-1. Ah, uh, good pitch right there, right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in tune. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. And, and a dive, but he's back in there. Line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Well, here we are. It's the second month of the season, and this guy is showing no signs of slowing down. Got himself another multi-hit ball game here. Rafael Corona will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. Yeah, definitely taken all the way. Not a bad idea with the bases loaded. The 1-1. One, one. Very high, 2-1. Oof. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up. And that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. A swing and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. He tried to check his swing. It looked like it was going to be a strike anyway, but he couldn't commit all the way. And as a result, he gives him a free out here with an easy soft liner. Ethan Gordon is at the plate as he watches ball one. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Ah, uh, nowhere to put him here as he falls behind now, 2-0. You get the sense he's starting to panic a little bit out there. He's not following through on any of his deliveries, and some of his pitches aren't all that close to the strike zone. Take sign must have been on there, because that's right down the middle, strike one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here's the two and two home. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This Tug Dick will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Oh, now this is hit hard to the right side, but caught out there at second base. And that will become out number two.
Cliff Hamilton will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Dick is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Man, and you talk about a tale of two starts. He gave up six runs the last time he took the mound. Here, nothing. He's been in total control here virtually from pitch one. Miguel Rosario will stand in as their last chance now. Now a ball swung on and taken the opposite way out toward fairly deep left center. Oh, and a great play to make the catch there. And with that fine play, the ball game is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout. One final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that's a wrap here this afternoon. For EK, Psycho, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Thank <laughs> you.